today we're going to be speaking about this special board. But first, a story. What's your minimum specification? So I was casually browsing YouTube one day and came across Jeff from Craft Computing. Uh, Jeff and I have known each other for a while. And he recently did a video on this little board. This is the Xbox One SoC in a more standard PC form factor. Eight cores, eight threads, uh, based on AMD's old Jaguar platform. Quad channel DDR3, uh, absolutely terrible for PC use. Now something inside that video that Jeff did that got me thinking. Here's a small clip. So how much cut down is the CPU's performance? Well, I decided to run this through Cinebench R15 because I'm an idiot. To start with, I'll give you the time that I stared at the screen waiting for the CPU to finish this test. It took 17 minutes and 49 seconds to run through Cinebench single threaded. I've never even known a CPU that takes more than five minutes to complete the single threaded test, and that still feels like an eternity. So how bad are we talking? 37. 37. So what interested me is the way that Jeff was talking about how slow his Cinebench R15 run was. He said that his 17 minutes and 49 seconds run, scoring 37, was long and stupid. So that got me thinking, what exactly is the slowest system we can run Cinebench R15 on? This might sound trivial, let's choose a really old CPU from years ago, from the old 2000s, and get that to work. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Um, I also put an additional limitation on this search such that it had to have a PCIe slot so we could stick in a massive RTX 2080 Ti graphics card in just like we can do with the Xbox One SoC uh, system that we have. So this challenge to find the slowest CPU that we could run Cinebench R15 on was, it took quite a bit of thinking. Um, I reached out to uh, Dell Channel 21 uh, Guido, he's got a great channel over there. I really suggest you go out and watch. He he tests some really interesting, wacky, out there things. And we started discussing exactly what is the worst CPU we can think of that will both run Windows 10, has a PCIe slot available, but also scores so much worse than this 37 in Cinebench R15 single-threaded. So if we look at what CPUs we might think are real, well, let's go straight to a Celeron, a modern Celeron is like this. This is a Comet Lake Celeron, uh, two cores, two threads, 3.4 gigahertz. Unfortunately, it's way too new. This is 14 nanometer Comet Lake. That's way too, way too new, way too fast. 3.4 gigahertz. It's crazy. What if, what if we go older? What if we go Sandy Bridge? Uh, interesting enough, the very last single core systems uh, desktop processors that Intel used to sell are on Sandy Bridge, and it's this, the Celeron G460. Uh, this is a 1.8 gigahertz chip. Uh, you might think, well, is this slow enough? No. Nope. Uh, my next thought was, well, that uh, Xbox SoC was AMD. Why not go AMD? Why not talk about Bulldozer? Now, Jeff actually talks about Bulldozer. Uh, in his um, in his review of the Xbox One SoC, and it's still way too fast. This FX4130, no. So how about we go even further down? Uh, Sempron 145, this is an AM2 Plus chip. One core, one thread. Only problem, 2.8 gigahertz. No. Let's go even slower, even slower. What's slower? Than that sort of system, K10 cores system. Uh, Intel had the Atom cores uh, for their low power uh, performance, and AMD had Jaguar cores. Now, Jaguar cores are already in this Xbox One SoC, right? Eight cores, eight threads. So here's here's the slowest Jaguar system desktop on chip we could find, uh, the Sempron 2650. This is two cores, two threads, 1.45 gigahertz. This actually wins at being slower and the Xbox One SoC, but it's still not the champion. For that, we have this. Now, maybe this is a bit unfair because this is an engineering sample. Um, this is the ASRock IMB A180H. It is a embedded platform running a dual core Jaguar chip, so the same as the 2650, but it only runs at one gigahertz. Um, 
no turbo, just one gigahertz, whatever. It takes ages to install Windows. It takes ages to even boot into Windows. And uh, yeah, we run Cinebench R15 on this. And what I've done for you here is I've condensed the video into 30 seconds. See if you can guess what exactly the speed up is. So did you guess correctly? That's about an 86x speed up on that video. Total time to do this benchmark was 40 minutes and 35 seconds for a total score of 17. Jeff, I'm sorry, your 37 is way too fast. 17. So what else can we do with this result? In speaking with Guido over at Dell Channel 21, we were thinking a maybe more sort of um, netbook type systems, you know, really, really old atoms uh, or AMD Turion, AMD Fusion cores. Theoretically, some of those could go slower. You're still looking at a sub one gigahertz. You need it 64 bit for Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 64 bit rather because we're not going to go for the 32 bit versions. And this is this is ultimately the slowest system we could find with a PCIe slot. Now there is one other system that's this. This is the ECS VX900i, and this actually runs a single core VIA processor, the single core L2007 1.6 gigahertz. Now, this could potentially be slower. This really, really could potentially be slower than the uh, dual core Jagger at one gigahertz. The only thing is, the only PCIe, well, it doesn't even have a PCIe slot. It has a PCIe slot. Um, and last time I tried to install Windows 64 bit on this, it didn't work. Um, I really need to try it again. And if I do, I'll run up another video about how this is the slowest CPU I could find uh, that could run <laughs> Cinebench R15. Um, it's a stupid, stupid project. Um, many thanks to Jeff for putting this idea into my head. Um, I've actually got this board and this CPU uh, for another project coming soon. Uh, just. And that one is going to be really, really stupid. So please stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please give it a thumbs down and tell me how to improve this channel. Um, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell for next videos. And a really big thank to all the patrons that I have. Uh, your investment really helps the channel because every cent, every penny gets pumped back in. Um, so the question is, what's your minimum specification? This is a potato. This is worse than a potato. This is worse than a potato.